ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Uranium. It's been a while since we've played, but now that we're all done with Hexit, I'd figured this is our second oldest series, or this is actually the oldest ser ongoing series on the channel now, so I figured we'd wrap this up. I believe we're on our eighth gym now. Um, yeah, I think so. We can apparently go and challenge it, whatever I said in the last episode. Not true, that's just a side quest. We don't have to do that. If we go in here, we'll do a quick team recap. Up first, we have Milo, the Metal Lynx, who's Grass Steel type, holding the Metal Lynx light, Quirky Nature, the ability Battle Armor, and then has Leaf Blade, Meteor Mash, Shadow Claw, and Swords Dance for his moves. Next up, we have our Dunseraph, who needs a nickname. We'll find the name Raider eventually when we get Fly. It's Dragon Flying, Relax Nature, with the ability Serene Grace, and then has Skyfall, Roost, Dragon Pulse, and Rock Slide. Up next we have Poof, the Alpico, Ice Fairy type, holding the Pretty Ribbon, Mile Nature with the ability Technician, has Dazzling Gleam, Disarming Voice, Ice Beam, and Fake Out. Next up we have Chimera, the Kimikondo, who's Fire Poison type, holding the Charcoal, Lonely Nature with the ability Petrify, and it has Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, and Dark Pulse as his moves. And up next here we have Sid, the Theriamp, who's Electric Rock, holding the Expert Belt, Hardy Nature, with the ability Motor Drive, and his Rock and Rock Slide, Thunder Punch, Thunder Wave, and Brick Break. And finally, I think, we have uh, Megamind, the uh, Brain Ore, who's Water Psychic type, holding the XP Share because he needs to catch up, Sassy Nature, with the ability Swift Swim, and has Surf Dive, Psybeam, and Snore. I think we're actually going to switch... Uh, our guy Megamind out here because we have a gym and uh, we need we need we can't have somebody catching up so what types do we have grass steel dragon flying fire poison ice fairy electric rock uh okay uh, the, none of these guys are level up you guys are though Yolanda Simba Saitama and Jammin hmm um all right, since this game uh, is slow and I don't want to lose too many Pokemon, let's look up what the 8th gym has on the Wikipedia. Uh, so, 8th gym Pokemon Uranium. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see. Where's the leader? Okay. Oh no. It's an eight Pokemon battle because you have to battle them back to back. Okay, so what does she have? She has Flareon. A Jelen. I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, Coatlith, Grass Dragon, Whimsicott, Mega Whimsicott, Grass Fairy. And Kaito has Umbreon, Villicard, Luchabra, and a Mega Arbok. So Poison Fighting, Poison Dark. Oh, that's, uh, hmm. A psychic type move would be good for them, but then again, we have a dark type. Dark, yeah, most of his Pokemon are dark. Fairy, Grass Dragon, Grass Electric, Fire. Okay, so, I think... I think the best Pokemon to add to our team... Let's see here. So you can help with our Dark types quite a bit. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations, Saitama. You are back on the team. All right, and then we'll leave you in there. I wonder what our Death Box is looking like. Oh, that's right. This hurts me so much. We have so many good Pokemon in here. And it sucks. Uh... Who, who was the hardest loss for me personally? Probably, I want to say Spoopy. Spoopy was cool. Alright. Now, we'll set foot 
into the final gym. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, this gym is white tiles 13, black tile 7. Hey, would you look at that? You made it here at last. This is the eighth and final gym in Tandor. This building is a shrine to the gods, Aeotis and Mudios, and the gym leaders are the prince and princess of the ninja clan. Not only that, but they've said to be the mortal voice of the gods themselves. To reach them, you have to solve a puzzle. Remember, Aeotis and Mudios are all about balance. Don't freak out, okay? You can handle this. I believe in you. White tiles 13. What do I have to do here? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Huh? I'm really confused, but whatever. First trainer, rumbling thunder, then flash. The whole sky is light up. Lightning cleaves the air. Okay. Alright. Bull chick. Uh, I haven't played this game in a while. Oh no. Uh. Uh. Let's do this move. After we, of course, mega evolve. Air cutter, that's kind of scary. Should have sword stance. This guy's not too intimidating for us. Jolteon. Nah, we'll stay. Well, let's go for a Leaf Blade. Thunder. Yeah, that's not very fit. Oh, I... Mm, why did you do that to me? I didn't check my healing items, actually. I should do that. It's been like a month since I've played. Theory Amp. Oh, we have one of these. We'll stay in. He's rock electric. I don't think he... Okay, good. My assumption in assuming we had healing items was a safe one. I, I don't... Yeah, I don't think he learns... I know ours has Brick Break, but I don't think he learned it from uh, level up. So if we go for a Leaf Blade here, we should be fine. We do have a decent amount of healing items, so I don't think we have to go back quite yet. All right, and there we go. 54, zap, ouch. All right, now what? White, t uh, this, this is by far, I think, the laggiest room I've ever been in in this game, and that's saying something. Huh. Oh. Well. Do these guys want to battle? No? Alright, I'm fine with that. Ugh. Oh. Balance. I'm gonna have to fight this guy though, aren't I? No. Oh no, I'm being thrown in dialogue already. Welcome, Challenger. I am Princess Hinata of Clan Suki. Princess Ka Prince Kaido of Clan Name. We are the leaders of this gym, but more than that, we are wife and husband too. 100 years ago, our clans were at war. This was a time of violence, bloodshed, and death. But in that time of darkness, a light shone through. Two souls met and forged a love strong enough to vanquish the chaos. It was the beginning of a new era for our people. Our gods, once in 
blazoned on war pennants came together as a symbol of strength and harmony. And the two of those who and the two whose love ended the war gave the gods a great blessing. We will become the mortal avatar of our gods' will. Now, 100 years later, we live on. We will eat our clans justly and with great love. We are keepers of this temple and the leaders of this gym. You cannot rest until you have defeated us both. Speak to the one you wish to challenge first. Alright. Um, so, as far as I know, let me double check on our uh, spiffy uh, Wikipedia page. Poison Dark, Poison Fighting, Dark, Dark Poison. Shoot though, Poison Dark. Doesn't Poison, yeah, I think Poison resists fighting. My plan may not have been so sound. Dang, and half of his Dark types are. Hmm. Could be a bit of a problem here. Uh, we'll, we'll lead with Saitama. I want to f challenge this guy first, though. So you've chosen to face the dark fear of nighttime. That's brave. I use Pokemon that hide in the shadows and wait to strike when their foes are unaware. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, Kaito. Umbreon, yep. Alright. Here we go. This thing's probably gonna outspeed us. No, it's not. I should have gone for Leech Seed. Alright, that's pretty good. Dark Pulse. Okay, that's fine. Justified! Ooh! <laughs> you know what? I'm setting up. No! Oh wait, this is actually... This is perfect! Yes! That is actually so good, because now I have the Leech Seed coming back to me as well. And I have the Attack Boost. This is actually... This is actually best case scenario. Now, I know he's a Poison type. What moves does he have? I don't like grinding. Sorry, guys. In this game, anyway. Poison Jab. Okay, we're going to see a Poison Jab here. Do I think we can take a Poison Jab from this thing? I don't have my hopes up. We outsped. Dang it. That did not do as much damage as I wanted it to. So, I can't say I didn't see that coming. But, man, that still hurts. <laughs> I just realized, he's level 58. We might be in over our head. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, that's not enough. Good, we have leftovers. We can pretty much... Oh, and we still have Leech Seed. Yes! Making me feel confident I can go for the... Go for the play here. Max Potion. Alright. I see how this is gonna go. We're pretty set up right now, though. We're not doing too bad, I guess. He does still have the Umbreon, though. That's rough, though. We lost Pokemon right away. Oh, he's paralyzed. Yes. Alright. Uh, I wish I... I wish I, I wish I could set up right now. If I could, I 100% would. Because this would be... This would be absolutely ideal. And just like that... He is down. Little card. Poison dark. Dark poison, I guess. Let's go out to Sid. Actually, I should have gone out to Milo. Shouldn't I? Giga drain, leech life. Drain life. I should have. I definitely should have. Yeah, because Brick Break's not going to help us that much. That's quad resisted. Alright. This was the right play. 
Alright. There we go. Let's mega evolve. I'm setting up. Yeah, I'm setting up. Drain life is, I think, the best... Yeah, that's the best move he can do to us. Strongest move, I should say. Go right ahead, my guy. We have 30 potions. I will set up all day. Alright, we're at max attack now. We should be fine. Alright, there we go. Back to full. Drain life. How much PP does drain life have? Man, I really love using the Wikipedia for these battles. It makes it... I, I, feel, I feel so much more confident. Um... Doesn't tell me the PP. Dang it, I'm sure it's like 10. I don't think we're gonna PP stall him. That would take forever. Let's try Meteor Mash. Does Meteor Mash give us a defense buff? I can't remember. No, that's right. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, I figured that would happen. Umbreon, will you switch your Pokemon? No, I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal on the Umbreon, and then his last Pokemon is Mega Arbok. This is fine. Let's go for a Leaf Blade. There we go. Arbok, will you switch your Pokemon? No! <laughs> oh, you have Intimidate? You're kidding me. That's stupid. Alright, what do we got here? Coil Crunch, Caustic Breath, Gunk Shot. We don't have to worry about Gunk Shot, which would probably be his scariest move. Coil is set up. I'm not concerned about that right now. Let's go for a Meteor Mash. Caustic Breath. I don't think that had ha very high damage. I know the move it's referring to. Crunch is a little scary. Yeah. And it's going to outspeed us, I'm pretty sure. Petrify. Lower speed. Whatever. We were already slower. It went for Coil. Don't know if this will save you, man. If it does, I, I might have a problem on my hand. If I had face cam, you would be able to see how... <coughs> How this is a bit of a problem now. Max potion. No, we need a crit. We need a crit. We need a crit right now. Stop. 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 Just crit. Please crit. Please crit. Please critical hit. Please. Was that just a max roll? That was a max. Oh, we got a min roll. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Huh. All right. Oh. You couldn't have at least given me a chance to heal, could ya? Hinata. Alright. Wait, who am I leading with? Oh, this is fine. I I got really concerned. I was like, oh my gosh, did I lead with Milo? This is the worst. I knew this was coming. Alright, Rock Slide should do not the trick. Never mind. Settle down there, please. No... Nope. Uh... That's a lot of damage. Oh, dear. We are burned. All right, so what are we dealing with here now? Heat Rock, Flare Blitz, Solar Beam, Flame Charge, Will-O-Wisp. Okay, she's an Electric Grass type. She's another... She's two Grass types. Okay, so I know. We have a solution for that. She has this Mega Whimsicott. What type are you? Grass Fair? It's three Grass types. This is our only Fire type. Okay. I really wish I had a water type. Um, what did this thing have again? Just a bunch of fire moves, except for Solar Beam. Chimera, I think you're gonna be our man here. Or are you? Are you a girl? No, you're our man. All right, let's get the petrify. I'll take a flame charge. Uh, did a bit more damage than I thought it was. You're qu not quite as defensive as I thought you were, are you? Alright, let's go for the Sludge Bomb here. Alright, well, they're poisoned at least. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Judging from that Flame Charge. OD. 
beer could have a problem. Then Seraph would like to learn Outrage. No, he's special. This is a dragon thing, right? I think it is. Grass dragon. I'm going to set up with Milo again. Because all of our other Pokemon, Grass Electric, Grass Dragon, Fairy Grass. Just want to see how much damage we inflict on this thing right away. Oh! That's not good. That's a crit. Oh dear. You can take this. Okay, this is a little scary now. How much did that do? I don't think that did enough to knock us out. Okay, we can't set up on this thing. Got it. Does grass resist? Does dragon resist steel. Dragon. Dragon resistances. Uh. Battle properties, sure. Uh, no. Steel's the only thing that resists dragon. Okay, got it. What about grass? Grass type. I can't remember this stuff too well. Generation 2 and onwards. Offense, defensive. Grass resists electric, ground, water, and grass. Okay, nope. We're going for Meteor Mash. It's Stab. Went for Roost. This is concerning. Alright, so we get the Stab. Yep, yeah, okay, it is neutral. That's good. I think we can take whatever he's going to... Okay, this was smart. Give me a solid, give us an attack boost. We're playing a... Uh, or a max roll. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, we got a crit and the attack boost. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Jelen, switch Pokemon. This thing's grass electric. No, we'll stand. Okay, we can heal up on this thing, I think. Let's heal, see what it goes for. Yeah. And heal the rest of our team if we need to. Thunderbolt. It's fine. That's a lot of damage, but that's fine. There we go. It's time to set up. Thunderbolt. <laughs> We're at max attack now. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to take some time to heal now. Uh, Milo. There you go. Alright. Uh, and I want to heal Chimera here. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Still. I think that's quad resist. What are you, electric? Grass? Yeah, so... It's a little... It's a lame type, bro. I should have healed again. It's a crit. Whims the cop. Will I switch my Pokemon? No! Okay, so she's the Aeotis person. Well, uh, adios! That's all I have to say. After, uh, after this turn. That could have been bad. I don't think that would have killed, but that would have been bad. 
Let's go for Meteor Mash. Ah, you missed twice. You're done. Plus six attack. Super effective. Stab from a Mega Metal Lynx. Not today. All right, we did it. Woo! Congratulations. I must admit, I'm impressed. The blessings of Aeotis and Mudios are upon you. His fierce power and her serene clarity will guide you. As an emblem of their love, you have earned this badge. Zen badge. Hey, Let's go. As a result of their blessing, all Pokemon will obey you even when traded. Observe this TM. Solar Beam. Okay, cool. Yeah. Whoa, Solar Beam. Oh. Taunt. Uh, I mean, it's kind of cool. I, uh... I might use it more in the future. Well, we did it! Oh. Is that what I was supposed to do? Was I supposed to just make a bunch of yin-yangs and instead I just kind of bumbled around? Did my own thing? Well. Save our game. Only you can prevent lost save data. Oh, I knew it. Calling Professor Bambo. Bambo, Alderos, hey there. So is it true you just got the 8th badge? You managed to defeat Kaido and Hinata? Wow, that's incredible, Alderos. Of course, I knew you could do it. From that day, you left my lab with your starter at your side. I thought to myself, that kid is really something special. And when, you know what? I was right. By the way, as much as I hate doing this, I need to grind more, probably. Their ace was level 60. None of my highest Pokemon is 55. You've gone above and beyond everyone's expectation. You and Theobos. I think it's pretty clear the championship awaits. It looks like they're still holding this year despite the nuclear Pokemon. I guess they aren't letting a little environmental disaster get in their way. Between you and Theo, the other competitors don't stand a chance. Huh? Me? I've been hard at work trying to find a cure for the nuclear Pokemon, but since we still don't know uh, what's causing the meltdowns, it's slow going. I'm sure we'll get a breakthrough soon, though. What? Oh, sorry, Elderus. I've got an incoming call. Let me just hang up on them. From the Ranger HQ in Beale Beach. This must be something very urgent. I'll call you back later, okay? Oh. Can I can I lay my dead Pokemon to rest, please? What's going on? Is the village under attack? I'm scared. Please remain calm. There's been a potential threat. For your safety, we're evacuating everyone to safe house. Let me go to the PC! Citizens of Tsukinami Village, please come with me. Now wait just a second. What about the threat? I'm not going anywhere until I know what's going on. Sigh, we have reason to believe that there will be soon be an attack on the nuclear power plant to the east, similar to the attacks on the west hand door. Now, if you will come with me. What? Why would somebody attack a power plant? Yeah, and how do you know... How do you lot know about it ahead of time? Something smells mighty fishy to me. Enough. Oh. Cease your chatter at once. The sacred leaders themselves. This must be serious. Listen, Rangers, you must follow them to the safe house immediately. At once, your majesty. Okay. Apologies. The people of Tsukinami are not accustomed to taking orders from outsiders. They listen to only to the divine word of the gods. For many years, we have defended ourselves from threats. However, we are not prepared for a danger such as this one. Please tell us what have you Rangers discovered. We have clues to what is causing power meltdowns. Apparently someone or somebody or something has been causing them on purpose. Or Tip told us they were on the move and heading to a power plant Omicron. That's a reference to the other Pokemon, another Pokemon game. Ha ha, I see what they did there. Because it is the last remaining plant in Tandor. We know of what happened in Vinaville Town. Something that is capable of such destruction. This is not the will of the gods. Therefore we must fight. You will find the armies of Tsukunami at your service. Good. We'll need a strong, capable trainers to help battle nuclear Pokemon. Already, they're gathering in great numbers on the island. Gods cannot allow... So much dialogue! This is our oath. We're at your service, O oh great leaders. Make haste to the eastern power plant. We shall defend Tsukunami village with the power of the gods on our side. Fly swiftly. Can I have fly, please? <sighs> they're a bit kooky in this village, aren't they? Coming to the power plant too. Uh, you know there's strong trainer like you get, uh. Thank you. All right, good, good. I I need a, I need a minute. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Tsunami. Er, Saitama. Oh, I feel bad. He is a DED dead. That was not, not my best idea. Um, uh, so we're gonna, need, we're gonna need to fight. What? To fight a lot of Pokemon. You know what? We'll fight nuclear Pokemon with nuclear Pokemon. That's what we'll do. Yolanda, welcome back to the team. Alright. I would add our bud Brainor back, but, you know, he's... He's a, uh... He, he is Brainor. I... He's underleveled. That's what I'm trying to get at. Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here of Pokemon Uranium. If you enjoyed having the series back, please let me know, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>